Ah, <sighs> 50 hours later and it's finally done. And I finished early this time. Whew, time for bed. <sighs> oh god, I forgot to lock the front door! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Stormy the Fulf, and today I want to talk about sleeping, or lack thereof, my insomnia. It just blows my mind how sleep comes so naturally to some people, while for others like myself, it's a futile effort. No matter what I do, and no matter what medicine I take. Urgh. It's a heckin' gamble on if it'll work or not. Or maybe it, that's just me. I honestly don't know why I am the way I am. So, let's do some detective work and try to find out some probable causes. Caffeine. One of the most common reasons for restlessness, but I back off the caffeine several hours before I hit the sack, and as soon as I wake up, it's absolutely imperative that I have some caffeine. Otherwise, I can't add one plus two. I always want to work. What you see right here is, well, my job. Part of it anyway. It's really annoying how my creative juices often don't kick in until I'm in the bathtub or as I'm laying down. For being one of the most intelligent species on this planet, this feels like a step backwards. Like, shouldn't my mind actually slow down when it's bedtime? It makes no sense! Ugh. Anxiety. I think a lot of us can relate to this one. This is a nightly ordeal as soon as I start dozing off. Oh god, did I lock the door? Is my car insurance due today? Did I reply to what's their name today like I said I would? Did I put my phone on silent? Oh god, I'm out of sleeping medicine. The world is over. And did I say goodnight to my friends? I probably forgot again. <laughs> These are things I'm supposed to remember during the day, and yet during the day, my brain doesn't want to work, and yet it starts to work when it's time for bed. It's just, why? Why, brain? What? what why you do this to me? C could you please explain why? I, I, I need to sleep. I need to put head in pillow. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> like, how do other people do all of this without a care in the world? How do they enter sleep mode without blue screening? What is their secret? Is there a life hack? A cheat code? Why am I asking you all of these questions? Or perhaps it really does happen to everyone and they just deal with it and they have better things to do than make a video complaining about it. Hmm. Anyway, it really intrigues me how we're supposedly the most intelligent species on this planet, but we're so prone to error and our bodies are very demanding when it comes to sleep. Seriously? Six plus hours to fully recharge? It's the year 2020 and our phones can stay on 24 hours a day, seven days a week if they're constantly plugged in and they can charge to 100% in like an hour and stay fully operational for much longer than we can. But then again, we're built to last for decades. Smartphones, not so much. Eh. Whatevs. But I wish we had fast charging. I could get so much more done during the day if I could just plug myself into the wall, but alas, we do not have cybernetic implants. Not yet, anyway. It just feels like so much time is wasted for sleep, or maybe the world's just too demanding in general? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Sleep just frustrates me. It's supposed to be a time of peace, relaxation, and enjoyment, but for me, it's tossing, turning, and keeping trouble awake because I can't stay still. My weighted blanket helped matters for a little bit, but then it's like I got used to it and the weight doesn't hold me down anymore, so I just keep fighting it. I wonder what would happen if I just kept stacking weighted blankets so I stopped moving around. Eh, that, that, that sounds kind of dangerous, but maybe not a good idea. Eh. Oh, and sometimes I'll run like Sonic the Hedgehog in my sleep, and I don't know why I do this. It's like I get this surge of energy in my sleep, and I don't understand it. I am also a super ultra mega hyper deluxe light sleeper. The flatulence of a fly would disrupt my sleeping slumber. Even with my earplugs on, I could still hear things like doors opening. I need like an internal mute button or something. In my old neighborhood, I had these awful, super loud at all hours of the day and night neighbors who had 2 million watt subwoofers that would rattle pictures off my wall. And no matter what I did, I couldn't sleep through it. It, it was the equivalent of a minor earthquake. My strongest weapons towards fighting insomnia are rigorous exercising and lack of anxiety. 
I sit at a desk all day, constantly doing research and script writing, but I can find time for exercise, so I have no excuse. Anxiety, however... <laughs> but that's enough ranting and complaining, however. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna animate the outro, but dear god, you do not want to know how long it took to animate those first few seconds. Lip syncing is very time consuming and difficult. <laughs> this entire week has been a mess, so I really haven't had that much time to make a decent video this week. But I tried my best. Hopefully this one was eh, pretty decent. Eh. But I hope y'all enjoyed this stormy time video. If you have any tips on how to sleep better at night, or if you want to see more stormy time animations or just stormy time videos in general, please let me know in the comments below. I tried a lot of new stuff in this video, so the animation and art is a little rough around the edges. But again, I've been so limited on time this week due to the current situation going on. Everything is a mess. No, seriously, my office is a complete train wreck. <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you haven't already, share it with your other furry friendos, and consider supporting me on Patreon for perks like early access to vids, deleted scenes, access to my exclusive Telegram chat, and more. And don't worry, if you didn't like the animation, more fursuit content is on the way. And with all that in mind, I will see you all next time. Bye bye!